This video shows you how you can remove or detach your Microsoft account from your computer. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can detach or remove your Microsoft account from your computer. Now, you may not want your computer attached to a Microsoft account. When you set up your computer, it may have forced you to do it, but you're not comfortable with it. So this guide shows you how to remove it. Now, some of the advantages of having your computer attached to a Microsoft account is that it will sync your settings to perhaps other computers that you might log into. It might also sync your files if you use use OneDrive. It might also sync your Microsoft Edge favorites and settings. Also could uh, sync your office settings like the Word, Excel and Outlook settings and I think address books even to other computers. But if you're really sure or you don't want your computer associated with the Microsoft account, then carry on following this video. So what we need to do is we need to click on the start button just down there and then click on settings. But if you haven't got settings on your keyboard, just type the word settings. And then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, settings should appear. Left click once on that and then click on accounts just over there on the left. Once you've done that, click on your info. You might need to scroll down to get to it and then click over here, sign in with a local account instead. Now, it will tell you here, are you sure you want to switch to a local account? Windows works better when you sign in with Microsoft. Switching to a local account means you won't see your personalized settings on all your devices, and you might be asked to sign in again if you want to access info associated with your account. If you still want to continue, go to the next step to verify your identity. So move your mouse over next if you're happy with this and left click once. Then it asks for your Microsoft password or it could ask for the pin that you're signing into the computer with. So it's asking for my password. So let's just do that and then click on OK. And here it says enter the username and password for your new or existing local account. This is the account you'll use to sign into Windows from now on. If you want to continue to sign into Windows with Windows Hello, you'll need to set up a password. So here it's asking for the username, like, so you can type in anything you like there. I mean, I'm quite happy with it just being C. Then if you do want to set a password still to log in with, then type your password there. Confirm the password by typing in it again, and then type in a hint to whatever that password is. Now this hint must be only something that would give you a hint to know what the password is, not anybody else. So once you've done that, click on next and then click on sign out and finish and the computer will sign out. And then we click anywhere on the screen, sign in again by clicking sign in or if you've allocated a password, then type in that password that you just set up. And then if you've attached your Microsoft account to Microsoft Edge or any other Microsoft programs and you want to detach them, then go into that program and then just go up to the account section or the head and shoulders, click into it. And if you want to detach it, then what you've got to do is go into settings and there should be like in the case of Edge, there's a sign out just there. So you can click sign out. And again, it says, are you sure you want to sign out? When you sign out, changes that you make to favorites, history, passwords and other settings will not be synced to your Microsoft account. S to synchronize this device again, sign into Microsoft Edge as and your email address. So you've got an option here to clear your favorites, history, passwords and other browsing data from this device. That's if the laptop's going to somewhere, someone else. But if you are still going to use it, then don't tick that box. Just click sign out. And there we are. It's now disassociated us. So if I click on that there, as you can see, it's not set up, but it suggests that we set up an account to sync our data. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or 
if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, then please consider subscribing or purchasing using the links in the description of this video as donating or purchasing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.